How should we reveal Monster Max? Like, people's been waiting too long. It's gotta be epic, whatever we do. It's gotta be huge. Cut to like, maybe we're in the barn. In the barn, all right. And you can see the coal coming through the doors, out of the cracks, and you can hear it inside there. He opens the doors. Just boosted launches right out of the barn. Crush the Kawasaki three tracks. Hit it going like fifty. Yeah, I can't even feel it. Go like park on top of it and do a boost launch. That's actually holding up pretty good. Hanging off the trailer like five feet like on each side. The tread's not even like on. Like barely, it looks like it's gonna come off. You gotta go that way. That's better, yeah. I think uh, I'm almost on fire over here. Uh, it's getting a little warm. You know this fire is getting pretty hot. Yeah, it is. It's crazy the times that we've stopped at this gas station since I started coming here to Dandy Patty's shop. We've made this trip like 12 times. Oh, and this is finally almost the last time. Some, some monster truck tires here. Though you yep. can't even fit those in the frame of the camera. <laughs> the original Monster Max okay. transmission. Yeah. The first time I've ever seen that trailer squat, by the way. Oh my goodness, yeah, it is squatted, ain't it? Yeah. And we, then there she is. We are just over 13 feet. Just over 13 feet. With no <laughs> tires. We got old faithful jack back there. So thir thir 38 inch drop hitch. Unlock button, lock unlock button, right? So we yeah, unlock go, it. Go ahead and unlock it there. All right, hold on.
these uh, silver switches still, right? Yeah, the three on the left. Here? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> None? <laughs> Turn off the trailer brakes. This thing is crazy pulling something this heavy. Like it takes, I'm at 2,000 RPMs just to get it to move. Look behind us. <laughs> like, All like, you can see is like if, huge if, like, tires. I, I need a quarter mile to stop at like the minimum. Now show my RPMs. That's just to get her to move again. We're going 20 mile an hour right now. Get her going. That's 1,200 EGTs right there. Come on. I'm not moving. <laughs> Ever to get up that there. That is a pain. I need, I need different gears. recognize this tire do you recognize this man right here Who's it's been this? a while it's been a while we were planning on using these tires for monster max we were going to swap a one ton axle into the front for monster max monster uh, you know a monster truck on on a, a toothpick and then we found mr don pitcher here who stepped in and manned up to the job of building the absolute most insane piece of artwork you've ever seen on this freaking planet so i said well maybe we'll do two and a half ton axles and i brought over some five ton axles and he's like well why don't we do 10 ton axles i got 15 tons for it so we threw these puppies in here well don's just part of it so we got eddie and will and then i forget your name for the fourth time jack they have put a ridiculous amount of work into this. This, was, this wasn't going to be like this in case y'all didn't realize it kind of just got out of hand the farther we went we weren't going to have a drop box we weren't gonna have, uh, we weren't gonna have any of this, honestly. Like none of this would have been done. It was clean about 10 minutes ago, and this is why I wear black pants. So, no, yes, stupid. 
Look at your pants. Yeah. Who's stupid now? So, to mount the light bars, of course, we had to have, you know, a fully functional roof rack with a ladder on the back with nitrous bottle mounts with an... I can't say it yet, but there's a freaking air raid siren on the roof. Student driver. Some James Bond stuff here. We got, we got some surprises for everybody. stupid what's the when middle button the, so when you hit the lock button when the horn wants to usually go off the solenoid on the train horn actually they, they wired the train horn up to the actual horn i'll show you soon thanks don for a job i'm here for you very well done don't leave me hanging <laughs> um all these guys did an insanely good job like I, I mean i've made 20 videos on it but no shortcuts were taken on the whole freaking thing <laughs> Monster ramps, it kind of makes sense. Y'all are gonna say right away, you'll be like, why, why is it so creaky? Cause you can hear it creaking real bad. So the, the frame is boxed in, so it's a lot more stiff, but it does flex still. The back of the frame will flex from the front. It's tied in back there with, with bars on the, where those nitrous tubes are at, so you can hear it kind of creaking. So that doesn't doesn't mean anything's wrong with it. It's just, it's creaking against the cab metal. So it does 25 pounds of boost always, even when it's not running. Flip that, and there's a water tank in the bed. I think, my, I think the stock spare still works too. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> it's That's a lot of water. Yeah, it's quite a bit of water. 132 PSI. Wow. Watch how fast that empties. It's 130 right now. Like a three second burst. Yeah. You ready? I guess. Nathan Airchime K6 from Real Train Horns, so that's actually off a locomotive. I almost ran over you. You idiot. You guys, uh, I can't see anybody on the ground, so one of these days someone will get ran over. If they... I literally told you I'm jumping in the back. No, I didn't hear you. I can't hear anything from 10 feet in the, in the air with the Duramax. That's why we need to. High vis, that's why. Oh, I have high vis on. Yeah, there's not much leg room in the back, you guys can see. Once we fix the stall on that torque converter, it should be a lot better. But. This ride is extremely smooth. Yeah, you can't feel anything. Nice little bump here. A little bump. Excellent. Looking at the sky. Literally way up in the sky. <laughs> Pull it down. Oh my god. Feels so weird. straps max out there. Yeah, That's how did. fast those axles drop uh, out from under you. My tow mirror is level with the gutters of the garage. I, I would never get a truck without rear steer again ever. Like, I want it on my normal truck. Can you imagine a tow rig with rear steer? <laughs> oh. Uh, there's an air dog lift pump now now i have a long story to tell you all about air dog lift pumps and that's that uh fast lift pump so that's why i ran an air dog story over so y'all know what's under here what's that 
the Dominator for $45.99. This, my friends, is a Stage 3 Dan's Decent Performance Dominator transmission for only $49.95. It says right there, Dan Clark, the owner of Dan's Decent Performance, which is the only performance shop you should ever go to, even though they specialize in Duramaxes. Even if you have a Cummins or a Power Stroke or a TDI Jetta Diesel, you should take your vehicle there. It's important to understand about the Stage 3 Dominator transmission for only $49.95 that it really is only $49.95 and it's rated for 750 horsepower for your Duramax or whatever. If you have an Allison, uh, whatever you want to put it in, it's rated for 750 I'm horsepower. I put one in my Cummins. Which is exactly why we put it in this because this makes 750,000 horsepower. Um, you're only looking at one of these transmissions. Uh, there's several more, but you can only see the one. Only there's more inside of it. It's, Wait. it's transception. I am very confused. You'll, it'll make sense soon, don't worry. There are swanky steel hood stacks on here which dump way too much coal right now. I actually think we legit need two hood stacks for the amount of coal coming out of here. It smells so sweet, it's burning so rich. Like it's just like solid, it's almost still liquid form when it comes out of the pipe. It's like all, all that the cylinder can do to burn that much fuel. That's two injectors for each cylinder. It's kind of funny i was looking through some instagram posts and i found this picture here now this is this isn't monster max on the bottom that's my dent side but it's on the same tires that this was going to be on so we'll pretend that that's monster max there no a top or bottom thing people people freaked out like this is just me like you know enthusiastic about you know putting my truck up and making it look like a monster truck your channel went to lately you seem butthurt about everything you seem really mad that you don't own a square body chevy Sucks to suck. I guess, by the way, that truck of yours will never compare to Bigfoot. Keep trying. That's my dad and I's truck parked at the job site. There it is, hauling, hauling the uh, monster truck tires and the axles and stuff. Um, I was probably, if you, have, if you guys followed me, probably the most hated person on the entire... I still am, maybe. Is there anyone who's more hated than me in the truck game? Just because people get so frustrated about it. Why do y'all get so mad? What makes people mad? You guys may notice I wear this shirt all the time. It's not because I'm sponsored by Nitro. It's because of what it says on the back. You want to read that? Just, just real slow, word by word. Uh, what's that say there? Hustle until your haters ask if you are hiring. Hustle till your haters ask if you're hiring. So since my page uh, generates so much hate, everything that I post, no matter what, will generate hate. It's a given. I get a ton of people, they're always like, let it roll off your back. You know, why do you let it bother you so much? Because I post about it. I don't ignore it. And I think there's a difference between getting bothered by stuff and addressing it. When I started this, when it was sitting on blocks, I didn't have the means to do this. I didn't have the resources to build this at all. I kind of just rode this up as everyone doubted me. The more people doubted me, the more people watched my stuff and hate comment on it all, the more this grew right here. So I didn't let it bother me. I let it fuel me. So when y'all are saying, don't, don't let the hate bother you, why are you addressing all these haters and everything? I'm not letting it bother me. I'm just, I'm letting it fuel me. You, you can't just ignore it and let it roll off your back. If it's something worth noting, if someone's saying something that's not true, you gotta prove them wrong. So if someone comes up and punches you in the face, mm. let it roll off your back, you know? No, you're gonna hit them back. So you gotta fight back, people. Beat the shit out of people until you can do chin-ups on your monster truck that everyone said wasn't gonna happen. It wasn't gonna happen. Why am I doing chin-ups on my monster truck right now with this shirt on? Why are my haters asking if I'm hiring? Huh? Explain that, riddle me that, children. You wanna know why I wear my pants inside my boots? Why? <clears throat> I don't know. Because people don't like it. Because mm. everyone thinks it's normal to wear your pants outside of your boots. Wait, I'm sorry, Clayton. Hey, mine, is, am mine I normal? Or is Clayton normal? Do I hate on Clayton because he's got his pants outside of his boots? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> if I punch you in the face, you're gonna hit me back? Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. You're not gonna say, don't let it bother you. <laughs> don't let it bother you, Clayton. I just hit you in the head. Don't let it bother you. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> this right here, this picture. One day, I thought, well, for fun, I'll roll my truck out into the driveway and I'll put 18 jack stands under it. I didn't have jack stands. I put 18 blocks under it. Look at this guy looking over here. <laughs> this is ridiculous guys and i'll let it barely teeter there in the wind while the neighbors drive by and ask what the heck i'm doing so i post this picture 
this video of me saying I'm, I'm gonna build the the biggest baddest monster truck ever and it looks like crap and everyone's like no you're not Everyone said you're not gonna do that you can't do that so I'd, I'd have on my phone I'd have a list in notes that was about five pages long a list you know how many pages long of, of notes I have now how many I one? have five whiteboards on I bought three more I have five oh, white three more whiteboards I have five whiteboards this big on the <laughs> wall now that I write all my stuff down anytime I see a comment I see someone getting all worked up about something. You know what I do? I walk up to my whiteboard and I, I get out a marker. Write down all your ideas. I'll write down I'll write down all these hate comments. All the people that say I shouldn't do something. And little Jimmy says, you know, you're not going to build a monster truck. You can't do that. It costs too much. It'd be too hard. So I go out in the garage and I write down build monster truck. Just a reminder to go build a monster truck. So there's this first little post I made about the dent side. A joke about beating Cletus McFarlane in a race. The amount of people that said I wouldn't beat Cletus McFarlane in a race, was there was quite a long list there. Needless to say, on my list of stuff, beat Cletus McFarlane in a race just to prove everybody wrong. Use it as your fuel. Use it. Let it piss you off. Don't let it bother you, but let it piss you off in a good way. Is there such a thing? I... Make it such a thing. Let it piss you off. Let it just make you so mad, but channel that anger to your brain to just utilize it. You feel me? Hustle until everybody says daddy's money because they're so jealous they think they couldn't afford anything that you have. Hustle until, which is not, that's not hard to do. That's not that hard to do. Hustle until someone says daddy's money just because they're jealous. That's always what that comes from. No dad actually gives their kid that much money, guys. No dad. Maybe a couple dads. Not my dad. Which is why I had to work hard for everything I have to the point that everyone thinks it was daddy's money. So hustle until you can buy a 10 acre field until planting crops on that field is less valuable than your company being on that field. Also until you can wake up at 11 a.m. on a Monday morning and go out and do cyclones in your monster truck that no one said you could build.